Hi, it's Adele, and in today's video, I'm going to show Katie North, a family member who is a master watercolorist, <laughs> how, about doing some um, abstract painting. Now, I'm just putting out markers, and I'm going to show her how to do some markers, and we're going to just get started. There's so many fun things because she does watercolor really great and loves detail, but I'm going to give her something very free and easy that is out of her comfort zone. <laughs> Way out of my comfort zone. I love abstract, but I have no idea how to do it. And I, every single time I try, I just, yeah, I get like overwhelmed and I just want to like draw a very detailed eyeball in the middle of it. And then it's just, that's awesome. It, but it, it doesn't look right. I don't know. It doesn't look right. So <laughs> yes, I go back to my, my comfort zone look over here. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. Okay. This is what we're going to do first. I am go first of all, this is what I'm going to give Katie just for fun. If you don't know where to start, I've made these prompts and so um, cool. they're just different things like a different marks, two different greens, continuous line or what have you. And so she's going to pick those, but she doesn't even know how to use any of these markers. We're not going to use paint because then when you do the markers, it's different and you like detail. So mm -hmm, perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have the oil pastels and I'm going to show you, well, you know, oil pastels, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to show, okay, this is what this mark makes. Um, this is this mark. These are fabulous markers called um, Solid Marker by Sakura. And I use this a lot in my oh, painting. Wow. Oh, it's thick. It's thick. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's wonderful. Cool. And these are really thick Posca pens. And you just shake them. And, they, and we have other Posca pens that are thinner. But these show a really, you can do that uh, or this. Like almost like a brush stroke. Yeah. Whoa. So either size. And we have them in different colors. And these are the smaller Posca pens. Same thing as this, but just a smaller point. Yeah. I use this in a lot of mine so too. Cool. And so, and I like to do different um, thicknesses and, you know, variety of line. And so here's colored pencils in case, and all of these are just in case, you know, they're at your fingertips. So if you like it, you can do that, but there's that. And then, um, oh yeah, this one goes charcoal. here. And then this is actually not charcoal. It's a China marker, oh, cool. which is a peel off. And um, this, this does not, it's, it's like you can go over this with so you water. Can tell. That's like, oh, you're going to test it. I'm like, ee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the different marks. Yeah, I'm like, woo. <laughs> so this is going to be a challenge for her. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this aside now that she knows just how to do this. And this is so cool, too, because I feel like... You could use this with any medium. Any medium. You could do this with watercolor too. Yeah. So I'm going to put awesome. these over here for you and let you just like. Oh, wait, yeah, no, okay. Get started. Okay. Oh, and just after this, after she does whatever she wants to do, if she wants to, she can go around and see if there's a place or um, that she likes as a painting that she we can cut out. It's so cool. It's, yeah, like the composition. You don't even have to plan the composition. No. It's yeah. so much better. And you want to do it fun and easy. That makes so Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Um, and you just respond. You can do the opposite of what it is. Paint twin, non-dominant hand. Okay. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm left-handed, so this works. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so. you're going to do right-handed then. Non-dominant. Oh, so you... I'm right-handed. Right oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. What okay. did I say? I, was... I thought you... Yeah, okay. Whatever is in non-dominant <laughs> hand. Um, okay. So it's just scribbles? Anything. Scribbles? Just, I mean, just like whatever, whatever. Do thin, thick, oh, that's small, cool. large, just like you're trying to, like you just got these and you're just trying to see what they do. This is so cool. <laughs> see, now I'm like nervous. I'm like, okay, okay, with that. So I'm going to stop. And the, the thing is, you're not planning anything. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. And then you just keep going on to the next ones until you feel like, okay. Now, you can do Circles. more okay. of that if you want. Non-dominant hand. And that's where you decide whether you want... Okay, circles and non-dominant hand? No, whatever. That's why you interpret the prompt any way you want to. Oh, I like that. Okay. You can do multiple non-dominant hand marks or like pink whatever. Pink you don't really have to... Circle. I'm not a rule follower, so... Um, I usually will do the opposite of what I do. I like circles though. Yeah, I do too. And I love watching the same <laughs> And look, I, hey, I'm going to like right here. I'm pushing some of this like, over right. here like this. So I'm going to push <laughs> back. So you feel free to go to um, 
All that. And then it's going to be so interesting because I have some things I'm, I'm watching for. <laughs> You're watching for it. No, no, just, no, at the end, I love to see at the end, just you look for like, oh, okay, look how you did this and look how you did that. Okay. Black and white pattern. Black and white pattern. So this okay. is her third okay. prompt. Okay. So this is probably more of my technical skills because I like patterns. You can do fun patterns. And just so you know, we're going to put all the information about her YouTube channel below. So you want to watch what she does because she's amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, look, that's a great pattern. That's fun. Okay. I would never have thought of that pattern. See? <laughs> I love that. A little different. I like the prompts. The prompts are really cool. White meandering line. White meandering line, which you probably won't uh -huh. see much. Uh -huh. So you don't have to do white. You can choose another color if you want a meandering line or... But it'll make a texture, right? It still goes over a little bit. And it picked up some of the black, which is cool. Yeah. And again, like if you want another color that you can see better, whatever. These You're really, the designer really cool. and the decider. Is it oil? Or I th I'm not sure. No, tempera. Te okay. I think it's tempera. Mark Thomas. This is so cool. <gasps> it's like and neon pink. I know, and I love neon. <gasps> That's awesome. That's I awesome. love that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, got a little, a little, little more excited now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dash of orange. Oh, I like orange too. Me okay. too. Dash. Dash of orange. I guess we have a bunch of stuff over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's just, it's just, you know what? The focus is really having fun and letting judgment and, you know, anything else out of fear, like, no. Because you're going to decide what you want to do. And it's just basically experimenting. And most of it's going to go away. Or you'll find some areas in here that you're going to like. And like, oh, yeah, that area is cool. Okay. Okay. So we're not going to look at it from a whole piece. Um, we're going to take it apart later and do sections. Oh, your flowers. Some little leaf action. Leaf. Oh, she's so good with leaves and flowers <laughs> and all kinds of things. I love that. And just to show you what what's going to what we can do at the end, I'm going to do this. Like, see, you can move this around, so you can decide. Yeah, that's getting cool. See, so you can see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I mean, we're, we're not done yet, but I just wanted to show you. That's why be feel free. And that's the smaller one, or you can do the larger one. I that's typically really like the smaller cool. one because you can really zoom in. So then do you, do you kind of, would you plan a bigger abstract piece this way too? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have one video where I did a, like a five foot by five foot canvas with this exact style. And then I cut them up into 24 by 24 inch paintings after and then sold them. Oh, as part of like a whole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you could have multiple things from this. So oh, my wow. whole thing is do more and put more on here than you think. Like do more because you want a lot of detail and a lot of things when you go over like this, you see, oh, okay, that, look how much even there's that adds. Yeah, that's, oh wait, dots. I'm going like very specific. You said four dots, not just circles. <laughs> <laughs> She's following the rules. <laughs> that's abstract painting and I'm following the rules. <laughs> that's, this is brilliant though. This is great. Oh, well, you know, that's I don't, it. I don't want to have to think. I want to think as little as possible. So this way, it's just trusting your gut. Two different greens? Mm -hmm. This okay. is how my son would do it, too. He would just do like, oh, look, both hands. Oh, cool. That's what, oh, wait. What if I get Oh, you it? know what? It, it, shake it up a little oh, bit. Oh, but yeah. what if I get it over that? That's fine. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Anything. And Katie's experimenting with this because she hasn't used any of these materials. The oil pastels and probably um, colored pencils, but other than this, this is all new. I used to love... Um, those colored pencils that were, uh, what are they called? Now this one might need to be shaken, this dark one. That's, I'm just curious. Yeah, or sometimes, yeah. Yeah. It needs to be updated, sort of. The Prismacolors, I remember that. That was one of my favorite things to draw and I would do like six layers of them so they got like a oh. glossy finish. It was so pretty. Yes, I love that. 
See, I feel, yeah, see, I feel like you could definitely do any any of these. Yeah. Uh, well, these paints would work right over watercolor paper too, and this is watercolor paper, so it yeah. would work over like a like a. Well, we'll play with that next. Okay. In, in okay. my in my class. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. am showing giving her a project, and then after this, we're going to do another video where she's going to show get me to do something in watercolor, which. I never do. I don't even know how to do the watercolor. Out so. of your comfort zone. Yes. Yes. So make sure you watch <laughs> that video as well. We'll give you all the information. But yeah, it would be really cool because that would be, I'd be so fun to have a mixture of more, more medium in your. Yes. But you'd have to be patient and let it dry first. <sighs> well, and you can do this with paint, but just for this type of thing, it's really fun. And it's great to experiment with. I'm always buying. If there's a marker or something that I find, even in the bookstore or something, and I've never used it, I'm going to buy it and try it out like this. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can even keep this to show, late, you know, to look at, oh, that's what this mark does. That's what this mark does. That's cool. Su super cool. Okay, I'm not, now I'm just drawing. Yeah. And Katie does realistic um, things. <laughs> and so, yeah, doing abstract like this is... is <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can yeah. decide when to finish. You don't have to go through all those whenever you... Oh, this you... is a cool one. Oh, okay. Turn okay. your painting to continue working. I was actually just going to say that. Like, yeah. Why don't you... yeah. That's, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Which in abstract you can do. Oh, wait, I haven't... Really... Okay. Paint over one thing. What color should we do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Katie has two sons, and um, one of them is with her all the time, and old enough to do painting with her. So he, True, is going to love doing this. That looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. And it really is just experimenting with what do they do. I love that color. It's a really cool color. Yeah. It's so bright. I know. I remember in one of your videos, too, that you said you let your grandbabies just color yeah. and then you'll kind of like you'll mod podge it onto some of your paintings like yeah you'll do a collage yeah i keep i keep collage I papers have, of what they do i have all of these <laughs> all of them it's wonderful yes even like a red ballpoint pen yeah oh, it's my one-year-old went mm -hmm. wild and i love it well and he so i have a, a studio set up too not as gorgeous as this but it, it's it works for what i do and then uh, True was so excited about the art studio, too, because we took the bed out and made it even more, you know, the art studio space uh -huh. that now he has his own desk with the light, with a little camera hanging over it for when he does his stuff, too. Now, how so. old is True? He's four. So four-year-old mm -hmm. has his own studio, too. Yeah. I mean, how <laughs> awesome is that? He loves it. He now, makes jewelry now too. Yeah, he's oh all my, about. Oh, that's yes. right, yes. jewelry. Mm -hmm. Well, he. Let me tell you, he goes up in a very creative household. Yes. Now, do you want to start kind of looking yeah, around yeah, yeah. Okay, for okay. this and see what you do? And then what we'll do is you'll just go in whatever you want to do, or even if they're multiples, we can you know go around the inside with one of the colored pencils. And let me get. Um, I forgot to put the um, scissors. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I love that too. So just take one of the colored pencils okay. and just kind of go around to the inside and we'll cut it out after you do a couple of them if you want. Then yeah. we'll cut them out and see what they look like. That's so cool. Mm, I know, I keep going to the orange. I love the, the neon. I do too. That's cool. And see, this is a great way if you're not comfortable or with abstract and you kind of go like, what do I do? doing the prompts and doing something big and then you decide so you don't have to think about it while you're doing it. Wait, I'm going to get this one off so you don't have to, that doesn't smear. Yeah. And what you're doing really is learning about your own style and your own sense of composition. Three? Duck. Whatever you want. And then we can cut them out. Just kind of move it around and see if there are any other ones that are like, oh, I love that. That's kind of fun. I like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to give you this okay. and let you go to town. With okay. That. And if you can, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to try to see if I have, um, it's a white background and we have a white thing. I'm going to go get, 
a black piece of paper to put underneath it so you can put those on top. I like and it. It'll pop More out. dramatic. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely, they turned out better than I thought they would. <laughs> this way we'll be able to see it better. Oh, I love it. So one of, one of the things I always say too is that watercolors are really good for people that are impatient and not letting the, um, you know, they, they're they faster than acrylics or oils or anything. But I feel like this is way faster. <laughs> Well, this what, is great. What scares me about watercolor is that you can't make, uh, well, maybe you can make mistakes, but in abstract, you can always make mistakes, which I don't consider They're anything a mistake. Probably like, your favorite parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. I get, I get that. There's, I mean, there are some things that are, um, yeah, you have to wait a little bit longer and let things dry if you want nice crisp, crisp and sharp edges and then if you want softer and more flowy edges you don't have to wait so but yeah there's always ways to change it and fix it and it just depends on your style too so okay and then i'm going to show you another thing you can do after but let's put this on here oh, that's great too <clears throat> so you can see it better then you have to decide yeah look how wonderful those are that's nice and just so you know, you can actually use some of these. Can I cut, can you cut this right, or can I tear this right here? Yeah, and cut of it? course. I want to show you something. You can cut out different things later that are on here and add them on here if you want. Yeah. You know, and collage it. So that's more of a collage, however you want it. So you've also got all of this to work with it. That's so cool. Isn't that do you, cool? Do you, do you have these for, for people to print off? I do, okay. actually. I want, I'm gonna I want put them. it. I'm gonna attach it. <laughs> attach it on this yes, video. Yes. There are thirty of them, and you can print them off. And what I did is I printed them off, and then I um, I just laminated them because yeah. I'm using them, and they're gonna get paint all over it. So I laminated it. That's so amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that reminder. Yeah, definitely. No, because I was like, I already want this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put them up here like that, and so I think that's pretty much it, huh? That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining because this has been so much fun for me to watch her really get into it. And you can tell how you're a little hesitant at first, mm -hmm. just like which most people are. And then it's like, oh, okay. And look what she came out with. I love four. it. Four. Not just one, but four. I love it. I think they're really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> love this girl. Thank you, Katie. Thank All you right. very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.